on Tony Banana, a 1994 Chevy G20 van. From Lucas, made in England. Oh, uh, the brain is still gonna break. The King of Darkness. Yeah. Thirty over, deck the block, deck the head. I have two forty heads on it, so it's higher compression. Hyper eutectic pistons, uh, forge crank, forge rods, um, often house your intake, headman headers coated. I don't know, stainless. I did all the machine work myself. OEM battery. Oh yeah, that's from like the nineties. <laughs> like this ground and stuff too. Like, oh, where's the? Yeah, you know, look at that ground. That's good wire. Still works. <laughs> How long you had it? January 10th, uh, 2013. And which which of your rigs was this? What number? Oh, the very first rig. The very first rig. John's first rig. Was I, this I used to right daily here. drive this with manual steering, manual brakes, and it's a four-speed manual. Manual choke, and it's like winter in Chicago using the manual choke. yourself, right? Every last bit of it, even the machine work. I, I machine that thing myself. Move the falcon hood so you don't wreck it again. Here's the key to the van.
every once in a while, mostly when I come into town, this van gets resurrected out from behind the garage. And here it comes out. Uh, not one, but two cross-country trips. One's from Chicago to Los Angeles and one's from Chicago to basically Seattle and back. This, this was once my family's road trip van and, and now look at it. See, there's a whole family of caterpillars that are living in here. They're road slugs. We're infested. We're, it's an infestation. We probably represent Poland and I guess the United States right here. And uh, custom fireworks included. Nice velour interior, shag carpeting. You gotta have a shot to Ed Moe. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you to Donald Edwin Moe, Ed Moe, uh, Mirror Lake, Idaho. There's still fireworks in here. Got a bunch of mortars back here. Some hand sanitizer, custom stickers, pimp seats, re lights. reading lights. I don't know, I think there's a switch up front for these. There you go. I can see clearly now. It's a nice hair rig. Tie. Hair tie for, you know, my hair. <laughs> Where's that gas leak? Somewhere over there. Over the next one.
Fox. too good. Better get this thing home. Why not end it? Yeah, this is a good trip uh, straight away. Look at that cloud of smoke behind us. <laughs> Man, it's too much. Oh my, it's like, that's a cloud. Oh, they want us to do it, they want us to do it. I know the old man, like, he encouraged us to do it, that elderly really, man. Yeah, he's still burning rubber, like... Yeah. Oh, we gotta get home. Yeah, this thing's hot now. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I think it's like, how it's, like, slowed out. No, they, like, the guy had his camera out, he wanted us to do it. On Cuba's name. This thing stinks. Yeah, it's like, it's like nothing but, like, rubber smoke in here right now. I think this burnout's too easy. I think the back brakes are leaking, so like the front's gripping and the backs are just ready to go. Like look at this, look at this distance. Like we just right up here. Good good family vehicle, good for road trips, good for taking the kids to school and grocery shopping. Back in its hole. Wall of shame, you should show us some of those pictures. story here. Yeah, look at the picture of Kenny in the frame over there. That's like the youngest picture of Kenny. This one? Yeah. Like 12? <laughs> From maybe. Like that sign top? These are all pictures of Kenny. Which one? KFC? No.
You want to talk about the origin story of Johnny's Garage? Good old Ibsen Street and, uh, and Bill, me and Bill, started it all. The whole friend group. Here it is. Well, 15 years later. Want to go get flashy too? <laughs> It's like slapped together because I blew it up and now I just like slapped the heads and stuff on. Does it look like a complete engine or no? For the most part. I can tell it's not together though. March of 99. Till till next time, this has been Tony Banana. We'll catch you soon.